Hi, my name is Jess Shearer. I've been with the county for seven years. Um, I started out as a paraeducator um, and then was a substitute teacher and then a homeschool model resource teacher before joining the PEP program and I've been here for the last three years. Hi, my name is Carol Deal and I've been in the county for 28 years now. I started working in the community-based program then started working as a paraeducator with the uh, pre-K language for 14 years and now I'm at Fairland Elementary School for, this is my third year with Jessica, um, in the a PEP program. Hi, my name is Jamie Wettergren. I'm a program specialist for PEP for the preschool education program. I have been in MCPS for 19 years and this is my seventh year as program specialist and I support the team here at Fairland. Can you just share what a typical day in your class looks like? Um, so a typical day in the PEP Classic classroom, our students come in, they get off the bus, um, we do a meal time here, so we're really working on all requesting and social emotional needs, peer interactions. Then we'll do a big experience calendar circle where we're working on some numeracy and early literacy concepts. We'll move into centers, which are integrated into stories and things that we're carrying over from the day before or the week before. We'll do a second big experience focused on a story with some math instruction embedded into it. Um, and we'll close out our day with that big experience and carry it over into our centers the next day. Excellent. Come on, Bryce. Come on, Michaela. Ellie, you Come on, Bryce. You're starting over here at Play Doh. Friends are working with the purple Play-Doh. You're welcome, Michaela. How would you describe the students that you support? Uh, the students that we support have a lot of diverse needs in communication, early academics, social emotional skills, as well as adaptive skills. So what are some of the main strategies that you're implemented to address the academic and behavioral needs of the students? While well, we're constantly using picture cues with them, uh, we have sentence strips so they can communicate saying I want, requesting at breakfast or at centers, requesting help. Um, we also use timers as a way to give them some advanced warning to let them know a transition's coming. Lots of music and movement, adapted seating, things like weighted vests if they need those. always trying to anticipate yes. their needs and what way we can support them towards being the most independent with them and successful. Yes. Excellent. What do you find the most rewarding about your position? For me, it's honestly just, it's the kids. They are fun. They're excited to be here. They're eager. They're enthusiastic. They want to please. They want to do well. Um, it's just a big game for them with learning at this point. So for them, seeing them smile, seeing them start to use their communication more with us and then hearing how it's going at home is, for me, the biggest reward. For me, watching them as they come in the door on the first day of school and their needs and towards the end of the year, watching how they progressed and how much they've accomplished, which makes us feel so much that we've done something for these children. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's near and dear to both of our hearts. Yeah. Yeah. When you need support or resources, which MCPS offices do you turn to? So when it's something that's kind of beyond um, our scope of problem solving between ourselves and our parent educator who's housed in the school, uh, we'll go to the PEP program, so to program support and program specialists. Um, we have some students who are working with Interact as well, um, using devices to communicate, and then our PEP school psychologist. Can you share a success that you or the team feel that should be shared with colleagues? A success I can think of just with how we work together is um, we've really honed in to how well we work together. Miss Carol's my right arm, my left arm, always reminding me, coming up with really good ideas, um, just really observing the kids and paying close attention to their needs and problem solving together as a team is just a huge success I think we've found and working together. For the kids, just making everything integrated for them, a whole experience. So extending the story to centers, extending the story to playground time outside, communicating with the specialists and with related service providers so that their learning is just an all-day integrated experience.
We're both team players. Both of us are on the same page. I mean, we see things the same way. Um, discipline, how we, what we do with the students. We just feel like we are like a team player and we work together. And I would also add with that, you know, it's very important to me that the students see both of us as that authoritative teacher role. Um, so everything we're doing and talking about, it's Miss Jess and Miss Carol's class, listening to Miss Jess and Miss Carol, because it's important um, that they recognize, you know, we are both in charge and we're both leading that instruction together as a team. And I think, you know, we present that and so the kids see that too, and then that just helps with the consistent integrated experience. Thank you ladies very much for all that you're doing for the students in your class. Thank you. Thank you.